Hi everyone, welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you once again for this opportunity to uh, just spend time in God's presence through His Word and a few moments in prayer as well. This week we've been talking about confession and today we'll talk about keeping it clean. 2 Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 1. Therefore, since we have these promises, dear friends, let us purify ourselves from everything that contaminates body and spirit, perfecting holiness out of reverence for God. Now, when, when we sin, we might try to cover it up, but we know that God sees all. He knows all. He is omnipresent. He's omniscient. And so there's no use of you and I trying to hide our sin cover-up of our sin makes an unhealthy life but confession is good for the soul and the body anyone who admits to the addictive power of sin also hungers for the cleansing power of forgiveness for the innocence for for forgiveness through the blood of Jesus the Lord Jesus was tempted like us but he did not sin to come clean means to make a full disclosure, not a partial disclosure, but a full disclosure, to convince, to confess. In God's presence, we learn that our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit, who brings groans and our, and our groans of our unpressing uncleanness before God's throne. And God says, you are clean. We are not innocent of passions and desires, but we are purified by grace and dazed by His amazing forgiveness. We've been cleansed by the work of Jesus. Healing does not happen until we take the responsibility of our actions. The people of Israel wanted to be healed of their rebellion of intermarrying with others and adopting other gods and their detestable practices. Ezra prayed for God's forgiveness and the people needed to do their part in the reconciliation process as well. The people gathered around and wept. They admitted that they had rejected God, rejected His commandments, and they confessed their sin to Israel and to God. In the pouring rain, Israel demanded that the Israelites get right with God. They took measures and God heard their prayers. This was not without great pain Families were ripped apart, but at this time in Israel's history, it was the best time to make things right with God. When we turn back to doing God's will, our witness becomes incredible and our spirits begin to sing again. If you and I are tired of carrying around weight, our mistakes, of our choices, of our wrongdoings, take it to the Lord in prayer and watch Him do something new in each of our lives. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for this beautiful word that we have learned together. I pray Lord, that each one of us will apply this word, that this word will bear fruit in our lives, oh God. that we will not, not be ashamed, oh God. We will not try to hide ourselves, but Lord, we will open our hearts to you and we will Lord, look to you, knowing that you are a God who loves us, who cares for us, and you want what is best for us, Lord. We thank you for your presence. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.